I have been thinking of a way to cover the radiator to protect it from the breeze and to gain more speed. And this is the way I decided to go about it. First, I cut part of the left side of the bottom of the cowling and level it with the right side. And that way, the whole cowling bottom. The reason I level the cowling with the higher part is because I wanted to have the biggest airflow possible because now I'm going to need a lot of airflow flowing through the radiator to keep the temperature cool. I like the look of the bottom that is flat and here I'm making some measurements to see how it's looking with the radiator and then finally what I did is added a lip and so here it is the cowling and that's the lip right there that will uh, allow more airflow to go through it and this is the finished product as you can see there's no air intake on the cowling on the bottom it's just all covered and there's no need for one I was waiting for summer to fly in the hot weather, I've flown in 95 degrees weather, and my air engine temperatures are pretty good. No noticeable difference between before and after the cowling was covered. I'm pretty satisfied with how it's working. I like the overall look of the cowling. Maybe somebody can do it something more static lines to it but uh, this is how I did it I'm not so so proficient with fiberglass I'm sure you can make it lighter and you can make it prettier this is how I did it because of my skill set and so that's that's how it turned out even though it's, it's pretty good the extra weight on the cowling for the fiberglass is about four to five pounds extra and the uh, speed that I gain is probably 8 miles per hour. The engine that I have, as you can tell, is a Rotax 912. It's a 100 horsepower. And the total weight of the airplane by now, it's probably 680, 685 pounds total empty weight. The model of the plane is a Kitbox 4 1200.